Welcome to Deadites Gems, a brand new series I'm trying out that allows me to showcase some of my most cherished games of all time that are either somewhat lesser known titles or games I feel are deserving of more resounding praise. For today's first episode, I present to you Salt and Sanctuary by Ska Studios. What I really love about Salt and Sanctuary is how seamlessly it takes the Souls-like formula and perfectly translates it into two dimensions while still adding plenty to separate itself from its inspiration. While the combat is precise and deadly just like Souls, it somehow manages to feel methodical and hack and slash at the exact same time. It also helps that the weapons have plenty of diversity to their movesets and feel drastically different from each other. The combat system feels visceral and rewarding, and going an entirely different build for another playthrough feels drastically different. The world design of Salt and Sanctuary is what I would consider to be the only region of any Souls-like that matches, if not exceeds, the complexity and doubling back on itself nature of the world of Lordran from Dark Souls 1. I refer to the world design of Salt and Sanctuary as a madman's labyrinth in my video I made in 2018 breaking down the entire Souls-like genre, and I'm gonna do it again here. Yes, the complexity of this world is absolutely daunting and feels like you're navigating a cruel madman's labyrinth. The overall design even incorporates some Metroidvania style elements as well that just further goes to show how impressive this entire region is laid out and overall ends up being one of my favorite 2D areas to explore of all time. The sanctuary system that allows you to claim these checkpoints for different factions in the game and recruit your own NPCs to occupy them takes the traditional bonfire system and turns it into your own personalized little town, which is great. Here you can invest in the absolutely daunting skill tree that injects in some welcome traditional RPG elements. You really have to pick and choose on what you want to focus on for weapons, armor, and spells because there's a huge amount of just flat out stuff in Salt and Sanctuary, and I personally love having this much variety with my builds. Salt and Sanctuary at this point in time, March 2019, is what I would consider to be easily the best 2D Souls-like and possibly the best overall game of the entire subgenre, which is a toss-up for me between this, Neo, and Ashen. What Salt and Sanctuary does have that those don't, however, is Couch Co-op. Now, how often are you able to go through an entire Souls campaign with a buddy on the same screen? Yet another intuitive feature that often goes forgotten with how impressively well designed this entire experience is. This was all done by a two person husband and wife team over at Ska Studios, thanks for signing my poster by the way, and what they have achieved with this game is staggering and retrospective. Salt and Sanctuary is out on all the major consoles and on Steam, and you have no reason not to take this satisfyingly grueling journey because it gets my very first Deadites Gems seal of approval. If you enjoyed this style of more opinionated coverage, let me know if you want Deadites Gems to continue into the future, and also check out my Patreon page which greatly helps to support what I do here. As always, this has been Deadite from Boomstick Gaming. I appreciate you giving this a chance, and thank you.